Claro, claro, claro. Claro, claro, duro, claro, duro. Kabul, February 2022. Taliban leader Maulawi Kamil is hunting down drug addicts in the street of the Afghan capital. Ever since they seized power again in August 2021, the Taliban has been cracking down on all addicts, real or presumed. <laughs> In present day Kabul, the hunt for drug addicts has become a part of daily life in poor neighborhoods. <laughs> These men are among the hundreds of homeless heroin addicts haunting the streets of Kabul. The Taliban have means all their own to combat this epidemic. They arrest thousands of people merely for looking like addicts and force them through rehabilitation programs. <laughs> In the 90s, when the Taliban was running the country, growing poppy was forbidden and using it harshly punished. After regaining power, the Islamic fundamentalists reinstated the ban. This clinic is a former US military base. In 2016, it was turned into a rehabilitation center. It can house as many as 1,000 patients for stays lasting 45 days. Ever since the Taliban's return, this rehabilitation center has been constantly full. 
بيصير تليفون ده شيء يبدأ. To this day, Afghanistan remains the world's largest opium producer. And back in the day, as members of the resistance, the Taliban earned millions of dollars through the heroin trade. This windfall enabled them to fund their rebellion. In our addition, Migran, he she shares to the Mojiras, the Bakshi Nisha, here the Dahili John, Badanisha, Kashidemisha, him Pudaras, he ruined Migan, in on the Johnny Badanish Maris Paydon mission, Jamishan, in on Kashida special mission. Going forward, growing and selling narcotics is also forbidden and penalized. However, Western sanctions and the economic chaos they bring about might make it difficult for these fundamentalists to deny themselves this source of revenue. These recently detained men are at the beginning of 45 days of torment, with no painkillers or replacement products. Forced withdrawal is going to be debilitatingly painful. Most of the patients crammed in here are also ill and underfed. دو بچه هست دو دختر هست و امرای مادرشون خانه میشنم و دو تا برادرای کلانم خرچی همون فامیل مره میده پیدا هم میگشتن دو میشار مسالنه جیب یکی ره بزن جیب دیگه ره بزن مصد و معمال پیدا کو بکشو مر بغر افتاده ما افتاده درات تیر میشی یک گشته کم میگه پودری Deterrence through deprivation is the only method the Taliban use. Deprived of assistance or replacement products, these Afghan addicts must endure this iron-fisted therapy.
طالبا آمده کل را زده فامیده نشد آلم که احمده پای ما کده چوکو و کده برچه هم میزنه کده برچه هم میزنه کده کلشکو کزده نه اون مردم هایی که مثلا گنده فروشی میکنه باید ملا صاحب ها باید توره بگیره آیا با ما همکاری بکنه ملا صاحب ها که کی گنده فروشی میکنه ما را زیر فشار نگیره من قطعیش هم کار هستم برش میگم اینی آدم هست اینی نفره ای اول می هم ما را فامیده زیر کتک میگیره چند تانه تفل داری تیاره سی کنید؟ سه تا تفل داری از تفل هم قسم هم بیدید یکر کنید اگر در بیرون می بود نه نه پدر بود قصه خانه و اولاد یادش نمی آمد The addicts are detained in the rehabilitation center the first two weeks are harrowing, and they won't all survive. In order to minimize the number of deaths, the staff checks the patient's heart rates before sending them to rehab. The goal is to filter out all those whose bodies are unlikely to make it through the shock of withdrawal. In Afghanistan, 40 years of conflict, poverty, unemployment, and post-war trauma have caused millions of people to succumb to substance abuse. Out of 39 million people, an estimated three to five million Afghan people are addicted to drugs in a country that's been undergoing massive economic collapse, an unprecedented humanitarian disaster, and exceptional unemployment rates ever since the fundamentalists regained control. These circumstances encourage the use of drugs, which can at times be a group activity taking place atop some of the city's hills, where heroin and crystal meth are bought and sold out in the open. خانم ما نکنم ده دنبال چه هم گشتیم پیدا نتونستیم دیگه معلوم نیه که در گجا هسته نیستم نه نه خبر نداریم دیگه دنبال چه گشتیم پیدا نشد دیگه نه مردگیش نه زندگیشی In Afghanistan, most women depend on their husbands financially. Thus, the wives of addicts are left to their own devices. In a society where women essentially lack the right to have a job or get a divorce. As a kid, I got a lot of money. 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 باز گم شد دیگه از خانه همو برده چیز بیتری بود دیسویلر داشتی تلویزون داشتی همی چیزا رو برد دیگه از خانه سودا کد در خانه مواد میکشید دیگه خیلی دیگه دود میکد و سر بشار سر صدا میکد قد خود من جنگ غال مغال میکد دیگه خرج نمیارد در خانه در قصه اشتکار نبود در قصه خانه نبود Still alive, but completely weakened, the impatience at the rehabilitation center lack food due to the insufficient budget.
As if to further illustrate the economic chaos devastating the country, staff at the center haven't been paid for eight months, just like most of the country's public servants since the Taliban's return to power. Ah, <laughs> 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 Babrak is a former Mujahideen who fought the Taliban in the 90s before joining their ranks today. He's also a former addict who turned to drug use during the civil war. او ما بتونم ام وطن چی میکنی که به هر کسی که در این مواد سردوشار شو بتونم صادقانه خدمت کنم When the Taliban seized the capital in August 2021 the rehab center's employees fled returning home Babrak alone remained in order to protect the patients whose agony he knows so well. Mamu khatratum bayanum ke u zaman se mabud. Au khidmate ke doktor sahiba rawan shinosa au mushawirin sadiqana anjam dadin ke mora as yak badbakhti bugo biwa as یک تاریکی بر روشنی کدین رو انتقال دادیم حال عمود دردایی که سابق در جان خودم بود سعی و کوشش میکردم که از این در هر سطحی که هست حال میخواییم که به مو شکلی که خودم مواد مخدره After two weeks strict and painful withdrawal, the patients are transferred to a rehabilitation center from which they'll officially be released after 30 days. خاطر پانزاروس که دیگه میباشه شما میبینید که مریض با مشکلات بسیار زیاد از دل بد است استفراغ داره ایسال داره درد بدنی داره و از نگاه روانی صبات نداره. ماشین سالم است یکی و سالم باشه برادر یکی نداری. مردم غریب بیچاره چهار ماه شده بیشنه هستیم در داخل گروگان هستیم اصیل اصیل هستیم ما در حال بد سچ قسمی که شما میبینید بیشار در حالات بیشار بدی ها قرار دارن و چون نو بستر شده مارا سالایم ترک 
قطعی دوایی بالای جی هشت هم The rules instituted by the Taliban stipulate that no patients will be released unless their families make the trip over to pick them up. Parents must also guarantee that their children won't relapse. Many addicts, however, have lost all contact with their families and can end up spending weeks, if not months, interned in this rehabilitation center. اکسپریان ما در این مورد ای است که مثلا میشه که علت فقر، علت مهاجرت، علت سرخوشی های کاذب، علت های بیکاری و دوستان ناباب بر انگیزه های محیطی زمین ساز بودن مواد مخدر، دسترسی آسان به مواد مخدر، خشونت، جنگ، افکار مزاحم، استرس، دپریشن، افسردگی های مزمن اینا باعث میشه که به اصطلاح افراد به مواد مخدر رو بیارن. سلام 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 صبح شما بخیر خوب هستین بخیر هستین صحت مند هستین بیاین دوازده از دوازده نفر بیشتر هم بیاین این میره حلقه تو حلقه بیش ما تو حلقه یک کم دور دور بیشه حلقه تو دو همیتا گرفتش روز درس ما و شما درباره چی است درباره وسوسه است وسوسه باز مکانش و چی چیزا که باعث میشه که برنگ چی است باز وسوسه را باز شما میخوایم که چی کنین نمو تجربیات خود شریک بسازین خودی چقدر از لحاظ انگیزه و از لحاظ روانی چقدر آماده است اینی برای ما های اهمیت است مثلا احساس جوانای ما اکثرا وسوسه ای که میکنه که من برم بیرو چی کنم انگیزه نیست وقتی از وسوسه صحبت کنم پای انگیزه هم در وجود میه انگیزه نیست اگر انگیزه به این معنا و از در دوستا هستم که بعد از این که از یه برن آنگی خوش را نمیدن کار وجود نداره در خانه پول میخواین غریب هستن و این یک وسوسه شدید یارو وسوسه میکنن نه تنها عمل، عمل مثل این دو جذبش میکنن امون را چه خواهی ناهرش که بوده و خدم ما میپذیرن چه خلاص خدمت شما از خود Drugs have upended the lives of countless people in Afghanistan and countless more are fighting to prevent their loved ones from falling into this trap. But with the country in the grips of rampant unemployment and full economic collapse, many see drugs as their only way out. Often relatives have no choice but to sell off their things in order to pay for their loved one's treatment. In some cases, rehab is successful, but the relapse rate remains high. خب بادر خان جان ما رفتیم چیز خدمت نیست بریم ما دکتر سوید بخشیم رو بامت بریم بریم As long as drug trafficking remains one of the Taliban government's few revenue sources, fighting drug addiction effectively is going to be impossible. The war on drugs is far from being won, and through the heavy toll they're taking on the Afghan population, the sanctions levied by the international community are likely going to make things worse. <laughs> 